Hey guys, it's Vanessa and I am coming to you to do a little art exercise with you. So if you don't have time to do it at this moment, you can save it and do it later. All you're going to need is a blank page, a pencil, and some pencil crayons. Um, so this art exercise just gets you more into your creative brain. I think so often we spend so much time in our logical minds thinking about things and thinking things to death. Um, that we forget to really nurture that creative uh, part of ourselves. And so we're not worried about what the image is going to look like. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even. You'll see that my drawings are a little bit wonky and a little bit off, and that's okay. We're just using it as a way just to express ourselves differently. So I'm going to show you how to complete two different butterflies. And then you will do your own butterfly sketch. And then there are some journal reflection questions that just get you to kind of journal about your own creation um, and those will be after the video so you'll see those if you continue watching thanks guys so here's the two different styles that you can do the first one I'm going to show you is this one and then it'll follow by that one okay so stay tuned and follow the instructions Do a circle at the top of the page. And then all we're going to do is another oval shape. And that can be really light. And then you can kind of sketch it in after. And then another oval shape that comes to a point. Okay. So then from there, we're going to start at the top of the body. And we're just going to have a, a line that curves up and a line that curves up. And that's going to be the top of the wing. And then we're going to come down on a slight angle and come back in close to where we began. So same idea, down on a bit of an angle and come close to where we were. And then starting just here, we're going to kind of do a teardrop shape. And then towards the bottom, it's just going to be this kind of ovaly shape. Okay, and there is a rough shape of the butterfly. And then we're just going to add some details. So we're going to add in the antennas. And then if we want to get really creative, we're, we can add some swirls. So I'm just going to take this line and just add some swirls off of it. And it doesn't have to be even. So we're going to start with a small circle for the head, an oval shape for the body, and another oval, a longer oval, and that can come to a bit of a point. So there's our body. Okay, so then halfway down the body, we're going to just do a line kind of straight out. And then starting at the shoulder, we're going to curve up. And then you're just going to connect with these lines. So you're going to come down on a bit of an angle. And then at the body, we're going to do 
diagonal lines down. And then starting right below the wing here, we're just going to come around and connect. So coming around and connecting. Okay, so there's the shape of our butterfly. So now all we're going to do is we're going to kind of add these wavy lines right across the side here. And then we're going to leave a bit of space here, like so. So leaving a little bit of space at the top, and then a wonky kind of wavy line. And same for here. Just a wonky wavy line. All right, and then from the body, we're just going to make kind of like a, a rectangular shape, but we're going to curve out the ends a little bit. And we're not going all the way to the end, but we're just going to draw in a few lines then. So going from that edge of that shape, a few lines, and then from this point of the body, we can add a few smaller lines in between that space of the witch. And then the same thing. We're going to continue. That's going to be a little bit more. Okay, and then from the body, same idea. We're going to start at the body and add this wide section. And then from there, we can add a few lines to break up that space. And it doesn't have to be identical. So then all we're going to do is you can add a few spots in the wings if you want. Add some antennas. And then you can color it however you see fit. Um, we're going to color the black, the outside of the wings black. There are many different ways to journal. For today, you're just going to write a few notes about your artwork. And so I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you can pause at any point um, after any question just to give you enough time to answer. And I would recommend pausing after each question. So what was the process like in creating your own butterfly? Did it turn out better or worse than you anticipated? Was there anything that was surprising to you or any thoughts that might have popped up while creating this drawing? What symbolism or metaphor might the butterfly hold for you? Take a few minutes and read through this little story. Pause as you need to as you read through. I love the symbolism and metaphor of a butterfly's journey. A caterpillar, it starts out on the ground and then it moves into a cocoon of darkness, thinking that that darkness is never going to end. And as it turns into a butterfly, it gains this different perspective and a whole new view on things. And so the darkness of the cocoon in which the butterfly felt that it was going to last forever all of a sudden, it, she emerges into this beautiful butterfly, and the perspective is so different. So as we move into this season and into the new year, how can we shift and change our own perspective, our own uh, way on how we view things?